Hi, welcome to the three of week six. Today, we shall be looking at seven blended learning structures in education. Learning outcome. By the end of this topic, you will be able to identify factors to consider when blending in person, online teaching, and activities. We will be able to apply the seven configuration of blended learning activities offered by OConnect 2016 in facilitating blended course. Now, let's look at the factors to consider when blending in-person online teaching and activities. First is interactivities. There are three levels of interactivities. We have the teacher, students, student and content, and student and students. Now, looking at the student and content, the student will be interacting either through reading, learning activities, assignment, practicals, and feedback. Now, decide if you want students to blend their learning by choosing what they take fully in person and fully online, or they are to be guided. For instance, students go in person to watch videos, download readings, and complete assignments online. In most cases, this type of personalization is not available. Now, let us look at the seven sample configuration of blended activities offered by OCNEP because it came up with different seven different types that could be used while blending. The first one says blended face-to-face, -face, blended face-to-face -face class or face-to-face -face driver model. Now, what are the indicators where you are using this particular model? The based in the classroom, replace a significant amount of classroom with online activities, required seat time. Activities are used to supplement in-person classes. Activities such as reading, quizzes, or other assessment are done online at home. Then both teacher and students share more high value of instructional time because Class time is used for higher order learning activities, such as discussion and group projects. So the time they would have spent teaching, listening, it is now used for discussion. It is now used to have deeper learning, higher order activities. Now let's look at the number two. The number two of Cornell sales blended online class or online driver model. That is the second model by Cornell. And what are the indicators? He said this is an inverse of the blended face-to-face -face class. This is majorly conducted online with few in-person activities such as lectures, uh, labs, and examinations. Now we have the third one, the flipped classroom. The indicator for the flipped classroom, this method reverses the traditional class structure of listening to lecture in class and completing assignments at home. In flipped classroom, the students watch a short video, then online, and come into the classroom to complete activities such as group work, projects, or other exercises. The flipped classroom model could be described as a sub-model of blended face-to-face -face or blended online class. Now, let's look at the fourth model. The, word, the fourth model, is call it, they call it the rotation model. And the indicators for this is that the student rotates between different models. Then sometimes some sub-models that they rotate within are, you have the online learning station, uh, rotation, lab rotation, individual rotation, or customized schedule. A situation whereby you find a learner taking some, uh, taking some lectures within a classroom, and at another time, he has to go for lab in another place or in another destination. So with this, they refer to it as the rotation model. Now we have the self-blend model. Under the self-blend model, there is a program, because this one is quite different from the other models that are course models. 
This is a program model. And in this model, learners are enrolled in a school, but take online calls in addition to their face-to-face -face courses. The students take decision without the directive from faculty member or on what course to take online and the one not to the, the one not to take online, take it in person. So this is a program-based model, or like the other models that are course-based model. They will have the blended MOOC. And what does the blended MOOC say? This is like flip classroom, which in-person class meeting to supplement a massive open online course. Student access MOOC material from other institutions or from open educational resources outside the class but come to class meetings for discussion or in-person activities. So this is another way you could equally uh, flip your classroom. If you have a good MOOC, you can refer your students to use that MOOC. Then you come to the class to discuss more about the content in the MOOC. Then the last one is the flexible mode courses. We refer to that as flexible mode courses. and in the flexible mode courses, you use multiple modes, in-person and online. And at the same time, students choose how they want to take their course. Example is the, uh, the San Francisco State University hybrid flexible. In this case, they combine and the, the student choose how they want to take their course and the students determine whether in-person or online. So these are the seven configurations that all Cornell has actually come up with the way you can use to drive your blended learning. But there is no one that is best fit depending on the, what you want to achieve, the objective you want to achieve that will determine which among these you're going to use. And you could combine more than one. So it's not compared that it must be one. You can combine two or more depending on what you want to achieve. Now, we have a reference guide here for you to read. Go through the reference guide for more, uh, for more results. Now, by summary, we have looked at what to consider when planning blended learning, and we have looked at the seven models of Old Cornell of 2016, and the seven models says blend face-to-face -face or face-to-face -face driver model, the blended online class, you have the flip classroom, you have the rotation model, the self blend model, the blended MOOC, and the flexible courses. Now we have an assignment. In this assignment, it says, in no more than 200 words, share your experience with any of the blended learning models suggested by O. Cornell post on the discussion forum. You are to take this assignment, but put your answer on the discussion forum. So, thank you for coming to class. See you in the next class.